Hi friends, we are back with our today's questions on biochemistry. Uh, in this channel, we have been discussing various questions which are asked in the VIVA generally by the examiners. Today, we will be focusing on the spot test or the qualitative test uh, which we generally perform for carbohydrates. We know that when we are analyzing these carbohydrates, uh, there are two aspects. One is the qualitative aspects where you are trying to find out that whether uh, the particular solution, it contains carbohydrates or not. And if it contains, it contains uh, which class of these carbohydrates. The other uh, set of uh, what you call as experiments which we do is to estimate or quantitate the amount of that particular carbohydrate or a particular uh, class of sugar uh, present in the given solution. Uh, so today we will be focusing on very simple questions which you may be faced with, uh, you may be asked uh, by our practical uh, what you call as examiners. Uh, so the first one is which are the active groups in carbohydrates? The answer for this is in the very definition of carbohydrates. As you all know that you define carbohydrates as polyhydroxy. So the first word comes here. So you have hydroxyl groups. So, carbohydrates, they have many what you call as your hydroxyl groups. What differentiates them? Let us uh, carry forward this definition. So, carbohydrates are polyhydroxy aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones. So, it has a particular aldehydic group, the CHO group or it may have a ketonic group. So, you define uh, carbohydrates according to that, the typical class of aldoses and ketoses. So, polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones. So, the reactive groups is your aldehydic group and your ketonic group and of course, many hydroxyl groups. So, these are the active groups in the carbohydrates. Second one goes, give two examples of these. Uh, you have monosaccharides, very common monosaccharides which we know is your glucose and your fructose. There are uh, many others. You can give example of ribose, ribulose, xylulose or your what you call as uh, galactose. So, there are many, uh, the list goes on. So, to mention a very common ones, I am telling, so that will be easy for you to remember. So, monosaccharides, glucose and fructose. Disaccharides, we have uh, sucrose, you have maltose, you have lactose, right? So, these are the common what you call as disaccharides. Sometimes the examiner may ask you, what are these made of? So, remember, the sucrose is made of glucose and fructose. Maltose is made of two uh, glucose units and lactose is made of glucose and galactose. So, sucrose, glucose plus fructose, maltose, glucose plus glucose, lactose, glucose and galactose. Some polysaccharides, yes, you are acquainted with these. You have starch, you have cellulose, you have glycogen. So, these are some polysaccharides. What are these made of? Yes, these are made of glucose units. So, uh, probably we all know that starch, cellulose, glycogen, all three of these, uh, they are made of uh, many repeating units of uh, glucose. What joins them? Remember the bond in typical carbohydrates is referred to as the glycosidic bond. Yes. Uh, give some examples of reducing sugar. Um, a simple trick is that all monosaccharides, they are reducing. So, you can tell any monosaccharide, it will be reducing. You have your glucose, you have your fructose. Uh, it is the example of a reducing sugar. Uh, in disaccharides, uh, we have maltose, which is a, a reducing sugar to give an example. So, these are some of the examples of your reducing sugar. Uh, what do the following tests detect or in what conditions or which carbohydrates they answer uh, these particular tests? So, you have these particular tests. First is your Mollis test. It is answered by all carbohydrates. So, all carbohydrates, whether it is mono, di, oligo, uh, poly, all of them, they will give a, a reaction positive for this Mollis test. You have failing test, you have Benedict's test. Both of these, they are specific for what is called as your reducing sugar. Stay tuned with us to know more about what are reducing, what are non-reducing sugars. So, for the time being, remember failing test, Benedict test, both what you call as detect your uh, reducing sugar. What Barford's uh, test it detects, it is more specific for what is called as your uh, uh, monosaccharides. Your Selvinoff test, it is specific for ketosis, those which contain uh, the ketone group and your Biles test, it is specific for your pentosis like your ribose, ribulose which contain 5 carbon atoms. So, these are some very simple questions we addressed here. Stay tuned with me, Professor Girish Kukreja for more in microbiology, biochemistry, much more to come. Thank you.